the fantastic glass harmonica. The glass harmonica is a type of musical instrument that uses a series of glass bowls graduated in size to produce musical tones by means of friction. Benjamin Franklin invented a radically new arrangement of the glasses in 1761 after seeing water-filled wine glasses played by Edward Delaval at Cambridge in England in May 1761. While Franklin thought it was a unique and beautiful sound, it occurred to him that the instrument itself wasn't all that functional. Franklin worked with London glass blower Charles James and made a few dozen glass bowls, tuned to notes by their varying size, and fitted one inside the next with cork. Each bowl was made with the correct size and thickness to give the desired pitch without being filled with any water. Franklin also painted them so that each bowl was color-coded to a different note making it possible to go beyond simple notes and incorporate various chords and melodies as well. A hole was put through the center of the glass bowls and an iron rod ran through the holes. The rod was attached to a wheel which was turned by a foot pedal. The musician would dip their fingers in water and touch each bowl's edge as it turned to get a sound similar to that of the singing wine glasses. It had its world premiere in early 1762, played by Marianne Davis. Writing to his friend Gian Battista Beccaria in Turin, Italy, Franklin wrote from about his musical instrument. The advantages of this instrument are that its tones are incomparably sweet beyond those of any other that they may be swelled and softened at pleasure by stronger or weaker pressures of the finger and continued to any length, and that the instrument, being well tuned, never again wants tuning. In honor of your musical language, I have borrowed from it the name of this instrument, calling it the harmonica. This invention quickly made waves and before he knew it Franklin's invention was being used professionally by industry legends like Beethoven and Mozart. Franklin's harmonica was becoming a true icon in the music world. In 1808 German glass harmonica player Marianne Kirchgesner passed away and many attributed her death to the spooky tones of Franklin's harmonica. It was not only becoming an issue for musicians but listeners too. A young child in Germany also died during an harmonica performance which resulted in some towns banning the instrument for good. And as for the players of the harmonica, it was also believed that, due to the constant touching of paint used to color code each bowl, musicians were falling very ill from lead poisoning. Aside from the physical toll the instrument supposedly took on players and listeners, some also believed that the high-pitched sound summoned spirits of the dead that the harmonica had magical powers and, in some cases, drove individuals mad. It was reported that it even caused listeners to commit suicide. Thankfully, none of these bizarre killer claims have ever been proven true. Lead poisoning was common in the 18th and early 19th centuries for both harmonica players and non-players alike. Doctors prescribed lead compounds for a long list of ailments, and lead or lead oxide was used as a food preservative and in cookware and eating utensils. Trace amounts of lead that harmonica players in Franklin's day received from their instruments would likely have been dwarfed by lead from other sources such as the lead content paint used to mark visual identification of the bowls to the players. Franklin continued to play the glass harmonica until he died in 1790 without any ill effects. At that time, 
about 5,000 glass harmonicas had been built. Franklin never collected funds from his invention nor did he patent the idea. Although still around by the 1830s the glass harmonica had become a thing of the past. In Franklin's specific treadle-operated version, 37 bulls were mounted horizontally on an iron spindle. The whole spindle turned by means of a foot pedal. The sound was produced by touching the rims of the bulls with water-moistened fingers. Rims were painted different colors according to the pitch of the note. A. Dark blue. B. Purple. C. Red. D. Orange. E. Yellow. F. Green. G. Blue and others were marked in white. With the Franklin design, it is possible to play ten glasses simultaneously if desired, a technique that is very difficult if not impossible to execute using upright goblets. Franklin also advocated the use of a small amount of powdered chalk on the fingers which, under some acidic water conditions, helped produce a clear tone. An original Franklin harmonica is in the archives at the Franklin Institute in Philadelphia having been donated in 1956 by Franklin's descendants after the children took great delight in breaking the bowls with spoons during family gatherings. It is only placed on display for special occasions such as Franklin's birthday. The instrument's popularity did not last far beyond the 18th century. This may have been due to the inability to amplify the volume so as not to be drowned out by other instruments. That the instrument was made with glass, and subject to easy breakage, perhaps did not help either. There are a few musicians who even play the instrument today. <laughs> 